what you're looking at is the raw footage of my videos just after shooting on my smartphone and this is what it looks like when it is now on youtube a lot of people have wondered how i get this quality out of all of my smartphone shot videos so in this video i'm going to teach you how to color grade your smartphone shot videos into a cinema quality like this one are you excited already so am i let's jump right into the video Now, there are a few things that you need to know before we get into the actual color grading tutorial using our CapCut application. Now, the color grading um, effect I'm going to, or the measure of my brightness or everything I'm going to be doing on my color grading, it's not specific, it's not definite, right? It's, I'm not expecting you that if I kept my brightness at 10, you keep yours at 10, all right? Because one of the things that you need to ensure that you have that will make your color grading to really look, you know, to really get your video up to that cinema or studio quality is your lighting if you look behind me i have rgb lighting behind me and then i have a keyframe softbox keyframe and field light in front of me if you're shooting with your smartphone and you don't have all of this sophisticated lighting then your color grading might be more intensive than what i'm going to do in my video so it is most recommended that you take your video outside to use the natural light okay for your video so you don't need to worry about studio lighting the only thing that you need to get is the basics all right what the brightness does what the contrast the what saturation brilliance exposure and all of that does all right so that when you are adjusting them in your own you'll be able to still get a really awesome video regardless of what you saw in my own adjustments as I mentioned earlier, we are going to be using CapCut for this video editing tutorial, all right? So I'm going to get on my CapCut right now. So I'm on, on the tablet um, version of CapCut, but this is also the same way as your mobile version is, all right? So I'm going to tap on new projects, and then I'm going to bring in the video that we want to edit, all right? And then I'm going to tap add. So this is the video right now. To so color grade, we're going to tap on the video. All right, and then you're going to just swipe to the left and you see adjust. All right, so now over here at the filter, this is the already made presets. Okay, these are already made um, templates that you can use. So you can switch from this to this. Okay, so these are already made. Um, these are already existing presets that you can use. But I've actually never used this, all right, because it's never give me what I want. So I usually just do the the um, the manual one, all right. So the first thing you're gonna see here is brightness. So what do you need to do about your brightness? If you feel like your video lighting is too much, then you can reduce the brightness, all right. But if you feel that it's too low, then you can increase the brightness. In my case, I usually don't touch my brightness okay so i'm just going to keep it at zero but where i usually um tap on or adjust is the contrast so in my contrast this is where i get to actually increase the quality of my color all right the saturation okay the intensity of my saturation okay so i'm just going to increase my contrast all right up to this point okay so the next thing I usually do is my saturation. So the saturation is where you can move from the black and white to increase the color of your video. All right. So you can see it's increasing the color or taking it to bright um, black and white. But I don't usually touch my saturation um, in most cases. But I think I can leave it at five. All right. So the next thing I, I work on is my brilliance. So the brilliance is what works mostly on the RGB lighting behind me. Okay so or even to get a better natural lighting or natural look of your object or the video entirely okay so what i usually do is instead of increasing it i like to reduce it so i usually reduce it to like minus 15 sometimes or even minus 20 it just depends on the video okay so the next thing um is the, the sharpening so the sharpening is what gives me the quality all right increase the quality of the video so i usually increase my lightning to like 50 sometimes then in most cases i actually take it to like 100 
okay so the next one now is the hsl <clears throat> so that's the the hue saturation and lightness all right so in the hue i'm not going to be working on the colors in the video so you can see the um green color over here so i'm going to select green and then i'm going to increase the color okay the saturation of my green then i'm going to select red so you can see the red light in here so i'm going to increase so you can see that it's increasing all right so i'm going to increase the lightning so now in the this hsl is actually what you can use if i want to move this red color to pink i can just move here okay and change the red all the redness in the video into another color all right so that's what the hue does all right so the only two colors i have here is my green and my red so that was what i worked on so if i should tap on the orange color so the orange color is actually going to be affecting my skin you see so it's going to be affecting my skin so i i just like to reduce the saturation just a little bit maybe to minus 10 all right then the yellow color here all right if i want to also work on that you can see that i can reduce the yellow color over here all right so that's that for that then the next one i usually go to is my um, highlight i don't usually go to my graph the graph is also almost like what we did in hsl all right but i don't usually go there then the white is if we want to take you know give it a, a more whitening okay so that's what this um this does okay so i don't usually go to my graph then the color wheel is available for um it's only available for um desktop version of cap cuts all right but the color wheel also is just like your hsl all right then the highlights sometimes i like to reduce the highlight and sometimes i like to increase the highlight all right so it just depends on the video like this video i think reducing the highlight is best option for this then the next one is the shadow all right so the shadow is what you use to eliminate shadows from behind you all right so there's no shadow here because of good lightning all right but if there was i normally just add you know increase my um shadow to 10 so the next one is the temperature so you can see my video is already in the is a warm temperature all right if i want to go cool i can take it back all right so you can see the video um is now cooler okay or if i want to go hot i can go this way all right so i'm just going to probably reduce the temperature to get to a little bit cool and the next one is my hue the hue is just what we did but this time the hue this hue affects everything on the video so you can see if i should go up or go back all right so that's the hue book so i usually don't touch the hue in my video now the next one is the fading what fading does it just you know kind of dimming your light or and and stuff like that okay so this actually kind of looks somewhat cinematic but in my video i don't usually touch it or if i shoot it just a little bit all right then the next one is the vernet so if i want to add that um you know that kind of cinematic view on my video so that's what it does you can see the black the dark shade all around here so that's what the vignette does all right most times when i use this is when i probably want to add test in front of my video but i don't always use it all the time so you can see if you go back it changes to white all right but if you go front you know it actually makes it kind of cinematic okay depending on the type of video you're editing all right so the next one is the grain so the grain just adds on you know some grains around the video okay making it look like it's an old video so we don't need that in this video so guys we've run through all of the things that is in the adjust in the um, color grading all right so all you need now to do is dependent on the lightning of your video so you might want to adjust it back or increase once this is done i'm just going to tap tick okay so the next part after the um video that's the adjust part is the retouch all right so when you tap on the retouch so this is where you get to reduce the noise and everything on your video all right so now i'm going to tap on face okay so the first thing is in the smooth all right the smoothness okay so now when i tap on the smoothness i just usually like i don't always like to have it looking all like you know everything is all gone all right so i still like to keep some 
little it makes it feel natural so i like to keep it at 20. so the next place is the skin tone in so depending on the color of your skin that you want to maintain all right so you might go dark or if you want to go very fair okay but most times i just like to keep it at warm -up. this one okay because that's my natural skin tone after that i go to my brightness all right so the brightness is where if i want to add more light okay or more brightness on my video on my face but i don't do that now the last place is now the white teeth so this white teeth i i also like to increase my white teeth because after the color grading it could actually affect the color of your teeth so i like to keep it at 50 all right so i can be able to you know keep my um you know the teeth to be white okay so now when you're exporting the final thing you need to uh, take note of to keep your video in this quality is now in the export so when you're exporting your video all right you'd want to tap on the 1080p increase it to 2k or 4k now this is dependent on the um the resolution of your phone all right if you have a lower version of android okay you might not get 2k or 4k on your phone all right so the next one you want to increase is the frame rate increase the frame rate to 60 all right and then you can keep the code rate here all right so the next thing you can now export the video so you can be able to keep the quality of your video crystal clear okay so now let's look at the before and after here hey guys you're welcome to my channel before we continue if you're yet to subscribe to my channel to keep getting all of these awesome videos do make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and if you're a returning viewer or even a new viewer please make sure to hit the thumbs up button down below so the algorithm can show this video to more people I hope this was helpful enough to help you make your smartphone short videos into a studio quality with sophisticated gadgets now if you're also still interested in another video i did about some tricks that you can do on tap what is in your smartphone again you can tap on this video over here and if you're here to subscribe please subscribe to this video so i can keep receiving awesome video tutorials on how to use your smartphones more productively click on this button over here to subscribe and with this I'll catch you on the next one.